Hello, hello. Today we're going to talk about adding code to the head tag of your website when you are using WordPress. So this is a question that I get a lot. People ask when they are a blogger, they have a website that they are um, managing through WordPress and they want to integrate things like Google AdSense or Google Analytics or even um, verify their site through Pinterest. There's typically a code that you have to add to the head tag of your website. And a lot of times people don't know even where to find that. So I'm going to show you where to find that and how to edit it. When you log into your WordPress dashboard, you're going to scroll down to appearance and then go to editor. And when you get here, a lot of people get scared off at this point because it gives you this big message that editing this code is highly discouraged, P proceed with caution. This is because most people don't know, well I won't say most people, but I would say most WordPress users don't actually write code and just coming in here and randomly editing could break your entire site. So I would encourage you before you edit your code to make sure that you have a, a copy of your original theme files that you uploaded when you installed your theme because that way no matter what you do you can easily replace a file and restore everything but I also would encourage you not to be afraid to do what I'm showing you to do because it's not that big of a deal click proceed and don't be afraid now when you get to this point this is going to look different depending upon the theme that you're using for your site. And this one that I'm showing you here, we're using the shout theme. So there's typically a parent and a child theme, and the header file is typically going to be in the parent theme. So you see here it defaults to the child theme, and you want to select the parent theme that you are using. Hit select, and you're looking for the header.php file, which it will typically say theme header. So you're looking over here in the right and you see here that this says theme header. If we click on it, we scroll down a little here, you'll see this says header.php. That's the file that we're looking for. It's going to again tell you that editing this code is discouraged. Proceed with caution. We're going to click to proceed anyways because we know what we're doing, right? Now here, this might look really scary to you but I don't want you to be afraid because you're simply going to add some code within your head tag. The head tag is simply this right here. It, this is the start of the head tag and this is closing out the head tag. Anytime you see something in code with this slash in it, that means that's the close of the tag. So if you can't find it within your header file, just do control F on your keyboard and search for head and it will highlight all the instances of it here in your code and you can quickly see here if you even want to get to the end of it you can just search for this exactly and it will highlight it for you so we want to enter any special scripts or code here within the head tag before the head tag closes so i'm just going to add some lines in here this hurts nothing and you're going to paste your Google Analytics code or Google AdSense code or Pinterest code, whatever it may be, into your head tag. Now, what I would suggest when doing this is to make a note of what it is. So, for example, you go into Google Analytics, you grab your code or maybe you were given code from AdSense. It's a script that you need to add into your head tag and you have that copied. But I wouldn't just randomly paste it in here because if it causes an issue and you're not familiar with code, you may not be able to come right back here and quickly identify what you added and take it out because you're not going to be able to identify it in the code. But if you use this simple little note notation, which would be these characters right here, the left little arrow, the exclamation point, and two dashes, and then identify what it is. So for example, I'm going to say Google Analytics code starts here, and then you close it out with just two dashes and the other arrow key. And then you're going to paste 
your Google Analytics code here. And then you're simply going to make another notation, Google Analytics code ends here. Now these notes don't affect anything because you put them within these little parameters here. So then if you ever need to add, change, or remove your code from your head tag, then you can just come in here and say, okay, it starts here, it ends here, I am going to take that out or put it back in, whatever you need to do. Then once you've added your code in, you're gonna come down here and click update file, and that's it, you're done. Very quick and easy adding code to your header. I'm not going to click update file here, but that's all that you need to do. And then if you are um, needing to come back in here, let's just do this. Let's update file. Just gonna leave it in there just to show you. If I update the file and then I wanna come back in to my editor again and say that I have some changes that I need to make, I'm just gonna go back to where I started. No big deal. Go to my theme header file. Scroll down here, see my code here. If I have a lot of code and I can't find it, I'll do control F and look for maybe the word analytics. See that it takes me to it and highlights it. And then I know that I can add, I can change, edit, remove whatever I need to do. And update file again. All right. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, I would always happy to try to answer them for you. You can email me at jessica at onmoxieandmotherhood.com.